That is a 33 foot high vertical drop to my backyard. So what we've done here is uh, the road used to be over here to the left where the excavator is. And I have dug all this back. I think we've got about 500 dump truck loads out of here now. Uh, and you can see we moved the power pole up under the slope there that used to be used to be uh, right here by this white pipe. Let's see. Yeah, here's the hole by this water pump. So that's where the power pole used to be. So we moved it across the road, restrung the wire down to the house. Move the road over, put in the shock creep wall, sloped it back steeper so we could make room to move the road over. So this hillside used to come all the way across to about where the edge of the tracks are on the right hand side of this excavator. And we dug it back, moved the road over, and now we're going to slope it pretty much from this trench. We'll start a slope down to my backyard. It'll be probably a one-to-one -one slope just to get rid of this vertical drop. And I'll, uh, I'll just pan down here, give you an idea what a 33-foot vertical looks like. I don't want to get too close to the edge because this decomposed granite can crumble out from under you. I don't feel like taking a ride down there. But as you can see, it's a pretty steep grade coming down. So we're going to put, after we get the phone line and water line relocated here in this trench, we're going to put about a two and a half, three foot wide curb and gutter out of concrete along the edge of this asphalt with a pretty high curb just to help keep cars on the road in case it's icy in the winter time. And then the, from the curb towards the house will slope down. Right now we're just in the process of relocating the phone and uh, water. And we're probably going to be hitting a water line here pretty quick. Already hit one right there. You can see that. 